A different colored jersey is not the only thing that sets freshman libero Amanda Yamati apart from the other athletes. There's also her unique hairstyle, exuberant personality, and her undeniable talent and passion for music. While Amanda is not working hard on the volleyball court, she is most likely writing songs or perfecting one of the many instruments she can play. Armed with an amazing voice and everything from a piano to a ukulele, Amanda expresses herself through song, whether it's by herself or with her band members, Kimmy and Matthew, who come together to make The Wise Owls. So Amanda, when did you start getting into music? Uh, when I was five years old, my parents put me into piano, which I hated, I absolutely hated it. So I quit, and I was really into musical theater for a while, up until like sixth grade. And my dad brought home a guitar, and he never played it, so I picked it up, and I just started writing music. I kind of taught myself, and then I took guitar for a couple years, and smooth sailing from there. So who, who encouraged you the most to play guitar? Well, my dad always wanted to play, but he really never got the chance. So when I started to pick it up, he started kind of living vicariously through me and was really supportive always of putting me through lessons and supporting my band and everything that I did with music. When did you start putting singing and guitar together? That was from day one. I just picked it up and instantly when I was strumming the guitar, it just came pretty naturally to sing with it too. So what other instruments do you play besides the guitar? Well, <laughs> I can play piano um, mostly by ear. I know some notes but I play ukulele, guitar, piano. I played violin for a little while, and that's about it. So I understand you're part of a musical group. Uh, why don't you tell us a little more about the group? All right, so I've been in a group called the Wise Owls for about half a year now. It's only been about six months, but we've written a lot of music together, and we're hopefully gonna progress with our careers in music. So who are the other members of this group? Uh, we have one boy and one girl. So there's me, there's Kimmy Shields, who's my age, and she's currently attending AMDA in Hollywood. It's a performing arts academy, really prestigious. <laughs> um, so we're really lucky to have her in our group. And then we have a kid named Matt Berman. He's a senior in high school, uh, back at my old high school, South Torrance, and this kid can just shred the guitar, the bass, the piano, whatever you put him on. So he's really like utility player to have on our team. The name The Wise House is pretty unique. Uh, where did you guys come up with that? <laughs> well, uh, Kimmy and I had an English class together in high school, so one day we're sitting there and we're like, we should name ourselves, you know? Most musical groups have a name. Um, so we're sitting there and we're reading Beowulf and we were so bored and we're just flipping through the pages, just like grabbing little words that stuck out to us and we just came up with the Wise Owls. What type of music do the Wise Owls play? The Wise Owls play a very laid back acoustic style, everything's very fun and it's like music you want to listen to when you're having a good time. I'd say I'd put it under like soft rock category. And who influenced you guys the most? I'm not sure who influenced us. We our, all of our songs are sound pretty different, but um, I, some bands that we've covered is like Florence the Machine. We've covered Guster and the Morning Benders. So we kind of have a similar sound as those bands. Have the Wise Owls performed in front of audiences yet? Yeah. Well, we're a fairly new group, but um, we've done Relay for Life in Torrance and a local venue called BOT back in my hometown and did an open mic here in Fullerton. And we're hoping to definitely perform here more and in LA over by Kimmy School. So what do you think influences the songs that you guys write together? I think just past life experiences. Sometimes I'll call up Kimmy and be like, I'm so angry, like, come over, we're gonna write. <laughs> but uh, other than that, we're just, we're both very creative people and Matt too. And when we all get together, it's just, all the creativity is like urging to get out somewhere and we always make sure it goes into our music. Why do you love making music so much? Music's just always been a creative outlet that I've used my whole life and whenever something happens or I'm feeling happy or sad or whatever, I always pick up the guitar and write about it. It always makes me feel so much better. And I also like it because once I started writing music, so many fans and people have come up to me and said like, God, this song like, got me through this, or I can relate to those lyrics so well, and that started really inspiring me to think about the people I'm talking to while I'm writing, and I love that. There's no better feeling. So have you recorded any solo songs or group songs or anything of that sort? Yeah, um, the Wise Owls have recorded a couple things. Um, I have Logic on my computer, so we've just been using that, just pretty rough demos, but just to get the music out there. And for fun, on the side, I have a YouTube channel where I post some of my solo stuff. 
Um, just some fun videos. You guys can check it out if you look up my name under YouTube. And yeah, that's it. Between volleyball and school, where do you find time to perform with your band and make music? Well, I, I will admit it's pretty difficult. Um, that's why we kind of have a slow progression, probably <laughs> slower than most groups of trying to get our music out there because Kimmy's in drama, I'm in volleyball, Matt's doing this crazy like jazz guitar stuff. But um, just off season mainly is where most of it all happens on the weekends whenever we can find time to get together. What do you think is more difficult to do, make an original song or play libero for a Division One volleyball team? Libero, for sure. <laughs> when I'm writing, it's on my time, my rules, my words. It's pretty easy to do. But libero, you got to work with your team. you got to be present, you know. It's probably much more difficult. So you got a pretty original hairstyle. Why don't you tell us a little bit more about that? Um, a lot of people think it's influenced from Skrillex. I've gotten that a lot, but uh, actually I got it, I've wanted it for a really long time because uh, I always saw it on this girl Cassie Ventura, she's like a Ralph Lauren model, she's a gorgeous girl, but I don't know why I thought I could like pull it off too, <laughs> but I really wanted it and I never got the chance to do it until senior year, I was like, you know what, last year in high school, like I'm going to do it, I'm never going to be young again, it was one of those moments, but yeah, I love it, I haven't regretted it for a day. Have you ever had any jobs dealing with music? Yeah, actually, I got my first two jobs writing music this past year. Um, a friend of Kimmy's actually contacted the Wise Owls and said, look, I'm writing um, a web series. I'd really like you guys to write the theme song. So that was really cool, and I was super excited to do it. And then he was like, yeah, I'm going to pay you. And I was like, OK, <laughs> that's awesome. So I've done two web series because they've seen that one, and they liked that. So. They asked for a theme song too. I've done for Love Good Productions and a, a video called Small Parts, which isn't out yet, but it'll probably be out soon. And then the cool part is like, I've never gotten money for music, but when I did my very first paycheck, I went and bought this right away. So that's why this instrument like means a lot to me because it's the only one I've ever bought. Why don't you explain what that is? This is a ukulele. Okay. I get weird questions about it. Is it a small guitar? What is that thing? But um, yeah, this is an electric ukulele. It's a Lanakai um, tenor. It's a pretty nice one. It's Would you like baby. to play an example for the yeah. viewers? If you guys Amazing. know the Hello Goodbye song, that's what that is. Yeah, I was, just, <laughs> I was like, I recognize that a little bit. So yeah. do you ever get nervous when you perform? Because you seem like a pretty confident girl. Thank you. It's taken a while. I promise you. When I first started playing and performing for people, I was like, uh. <laughs> but um, no, I, I, I feel pretty comfortable on stage now, especially with the group. But sometimes when I go up alone, I'll just get that kind of shaky voice. I can't control it. It pisses me off, but I'm still trying to wrangle that in. It'll get better. Where do you hope to take your passion for music in the future? In the future, I don't know if it's going to be my career or a passion or like a hobby yet, but I really do hope I can make a career out of making music. It's my dream to make albums and go on tour, so I'm never going to give it up, but uh, we'll see if I'm, I may, I might study it in college. We're going to see, I'm undeclared right now. So has the volleyball team ever been lucky enough to have you perform or serenade them? <laughs> um, I, I don't even know if a lot of them know I play, but one time my coach made me bring my ukulele because she's been to one of my shows back in Torrance. Um, so I brought my ukulele on the trip and then she kind of made me play and they were like, wow, you're actually kind of good. It's like, but yeah, I'm kind of waiting to have a show. Like I want them to see it in full blast. So do you think you could teach an uncoordinated soccer player how to <laughs> actually play one of these instruments? Sure, I can teach you for sure. All right. So Let's are see. you right or left-handed? I'm left-handed. Left it. I'm making it difficult already for you. I'm going to make you a right-handed ukulele right player, though, okay? okay? let's do that. All right, so I'm going to teach you probably one of the easiest chords in the ukulele. All right, so take this finger right here. Okay. And stick it right there. All right. That's a C chord. Like, you're a pro already. I'm already a pro. And then strum with this finger, just like. Okay. Yeah, not that hard, right? Do you guys need any new band members? Because I feel like <laughs> I can bring something to the group. <laughs> we'll see how you progress. <laughs> You want to learn a song? It's really uh, easy. There's let's, three chords. Let's, let's learn the song. Okay. This is the first chord, all right? Second chord. 
You're going to put this finger. I know this is going to be pretty difficult. This is a very small guitar. Put this difficult. Very large hands. <laughs> All right. Here, we're going to change this finger into this one. Okay. And then bar this whole fret right there. Okay. Yeah. Second chord. Gotcha. Let me see. I've already forgot the first chord, but we're progressing. And that's the second chord. That's an F. That's the third chord. It's an F. So you're gonna go. You can here. play that one. I'll just do the first two. Because <laughs> you're gonna play this I'm song. I'm gonna play this song. Okay. Here. Okay. And then there. There. This, this an F. Uh huh. Okay. F and then back to C chord. C this chord is, is one. this one. I see you driving round town. Bar it. Bar it. Bar it. With the girl I love, and I'm like. F was. These two. These two. Alright. No, these two, that one. That one. <laughs> okay. Forget you. And well, then back right, to wait. C. No. <laughs> I think, we'll, I think we'll stop there. All right. That was as far you as my musical talent. I will back work to me on that. Because if we need another person, I feel like the singing, to call you. the singing outshine the playing by far, but <laughs> thank you for teaching me that. You're welcome. So, when can we expect an album from the Wise Owls? An album from the Wise Owls? Well, we're actually trying to get some studio time together for about like November, December, but you know how things go. We're very busy people, um, so I don't mean to keep you guys waiting, but it's probably going to be spring 2012, summer 2012. But in the meantime, we're going to have to uh, try to have some shows around here. So definitely everyone should stay tuned because right. we'll, be, we'll be here. Well, thank you, Amanda, for your time, and thank you for joining us and thank telling you. us more about your music. I really appreciate it. Thanks yeah. for teaching me how to play. <laughs> Anytime. I feel Just like a real me. artist now. You practice, though, okay? All right, I will. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. My mind.